Buffalo Bills news, according to uh, Colin Cowherd, one of the eight best coaches in the NFL is your Sean McDermott. I'm sure you agree. Well, yeah, I mean, who find me eight better coaches than Sean McDermott in the NFL. The man's made the playoffs three out of the first, what, four years that he was in Buffalo. He made the playoffs with Terod Taylor as his quarterback. Josh Allen just keeps taking steps forward. I mean, look, when it comes to in-game coaching stuff, Sean McDermott will have his moments. But I think he's also gotten better at that over the last three years. He... His people believe in him, unless you want to believe the reports about Brian Dable, but the players love him. There's nothing but great things said. There have been players that have left Buffalo, and you don't hear a bad word about Sean McDermott after they go. He's everything that the Bills could have wanted, everything that we could have hoped for, Bills fans, when he showed up however many years ago and nobody knew who he was. I think you can make an argument that he's a top five NFL head coach. Again, I think you'd be stressed to find five coaches that are better than Sean McDermott. In the NFL. There are only five coaches on that list that he had to that have won a Super Bowl. The only one other than McDermott, I believe, was um, uh, Vrabel and the other is Shanahan. So those are the only two. And they've been pretty successful coaches in the NFL at this particular yeah, moment. Yeah, no, no. Vrabel's really good if you're into a guy in a really tight shirt screaming things that ends up with his team collapsing down the stretch. Oh, no. <laughs> don't do that. Why would you start that already? We're only in the offseason. <laughs> this is how he basically starts. What are your thoughts right now? Remember, he mentioned uh, uh, Brian Dable leaving. So that's a big offensive move there. But you know McDermott is a defensive guy. So what are your thoughts for this upcoming year? Well, I think the the Bills were right there, right? That's two years in a row that they've they've been right there, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, you take a look at this year when they lost to the Chiefs. I mean, you know, I hate to bring up 13 seconds, but I mean that that you play that game a thousand times, the Bills win it 999 times, right? Yeah. Like they're right there. So it's you know you <laughs> it, you feel you feel obviously bad for for Bills fans, but they're they're really really close. I do hope that they address some things they don't try to run it back again because there are some clearly clearly some glaring issues on their roster but if they can fix some of those small holes and they're not big holes but mm -hmm. if they can fix them they're going to be right there again for the next couple of seasons and it's all about you know taking advantage of those uh, in-game opportunities maybe that Duffy was talking about if they can seize those opportunities they got a good chance I mean they got they've got a pretty solid quarterback obviously like they their mind. Did you say pretty solid? <laughs> yeah, did pretty you solid. just did you just describe no Jimmy Garoppolo is pretty solid. No, Josh not. Allen is a superstar. Are you right. out of your mind? So finally your superstar goes on vacation Thank you. and is apparently recruiting some wide receivers who are top free agents at this particular time. Dude. You okay with your starting quarterback recruiting wide receivers? Yeah, of course. Go and give him what he wants. Like, the kid has earned the ability to say, this is what I want. I'll go even further. I don't think Josh Allen has to go out of his way to recruit wide receivers. Here's what you can do. I can take my phone, I'll get his cell phone number, and I will text you a video of all of my wide receivers all season long catching touchdown passes with balls that no other guys in the NFL can throw. I mean, look, it's fun and it's charming that, you know, all shucks, golden retriever Josh Allen's going to go out to Arizona and talk to some guys bring him in, but you don't think these NFL wide receivers, offensive players, defensive players see what is happening with Josh Allen and Buffalo and don't want to be a part of it? Well, think about this Nate, of recruiting when it comes to sports. We've seen this in the NBA. NBA players talk to one another, recruit them to try to get them over to their team. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. We see it in baseball as well with the Mets recently. That didn't turn out so well. So what are your thoughts on sort of players talking to one another to say, hey, come on over, let's be a part of this championship run? Players want to win, right? What's the best way to bring in better players? I mean, Plain and simple. And in any sport, if you're not constantly trying to get better, that doesn't mean that what you have in your current room isn't a product of something that could lead you to a championship, but you should always be wanting to improve, whether that's the players are talking to other players and their friends to try to get them to come, as long as it's legal, right? As long as they're free agents, right? If somebody's oh, a part of the team. I don't care about it legal. I'm not going to tell anybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm but cool. If you're not constantly trying to get better, whatever sport you're playing, if you're not constantly trying to get better, and at the end of the day, that's better players, then you're doing it wrong. As long as it benefits your team, right, Duffy? Yeah, but look, there is a caveat to this, right? Sometimes players and friends getting together and showing up on the same team causes disaster. You look what happened with Jarvis Landry and Ob Odell Beckham Jr. in Cleveland. That's been a huge issue, and it looks like opening day, both of those guys who started on the roster last season in Cleveland could be gone. No, we'll wait and see what happens.